welcome back to my channel welcome back okay i was gonna do a day in the life type of vlog but guys my day started a long time ago right now it's like 2 p.m let me just explain to you what had happened and the reason why i wasn't even thinking of vlogging or anything like that basically i woke up this morning pretty early um having some tummy ache okay hold on i'm having a phone call hello Bon, tout à l'heure. Mm -hmm. Guys, my day has been interesting. So, um, I'm here at the gas station. I'm trying to put some gas in the car. I'm trying to put some gas in the car. Of course, I'm at the gas station. just gonna explain to you how my day went it's been hectic um, nothing has worked according to plans um, nothing zero the first three hours of my day was just wasted okay um, there's a lot of things going on at this point because school is about to end and then we have exams going on we have um, end-of-year parties to plan we have an entire um, sale season to plan as well and then some clients reaching out and things like that like it's been it's been interesting okay it's been interesting and it got me thinking about when i see like people mainly women showing the soft life or talking about soft life whether it's on youtube or on instagram i'm just like how do you how can you how how do you have soft life in cameroon <laughs> how unless you like super duper rich right where you can have many people do things for you but if you're still gonna have a little bit of control over your life and over some of the things that you do over your companies like soft life is it's not life is not life in <laughs> like it's two different ball game okay soft life in the u.s like i feel like okay let me let me say this i can't look at you guys because i'm driving but let me say this right when i was in the u.s i felt like i had the soft life i had a good job and i had my ygl wedding business on the side and i had a soft life you know back then when i was still working for corporate america because even though i was working the nine to five i mean technically eight to five jobs and then after regular work hours i was still working on my business but my life was soft. I don't even know how to explain it. I don't know if you guys drive in Cameroon, but it's crazy. It's crazy. I never had to use my brain when I was driving in the US, okay? I would just drive. I knew exactly where I was going, or if I didn't know, at least I had the GPS to find out where I was going. Like in Cameroon, it doesn't matter if you have the GPS. It doesn't matter if you have all of these tools. Right now, I have a bike in front of me that is not moving that's not soft life because you have to avoid all these bikes <laughs> like how can you life like your soft life is not going to be lifing in cameroon I, I don't care what people say unless oh you know what let me take that back unless you have a good support system aka a husband i mean i'm talking if you're a woman who is going to be you know taking care of you or whatever or if you're a man aka a wife is gonna be making sure the home is well taken care of even with that i don't think your life is gonna be as soft as if you are in the u.s with the same type of privileges cameroon is just a different type of ball game i don't care what people say um if you are about to argue with me please take your argument somewhere else because this is my reality <laughs> this is my reality you know like i love it here don't get me wrong i love it here in cameroon that's the reason why i moved in the first place i love the peace of mind that i get here but i still cannot deny that it's just things are just tougher like everything is hardcore you know just driving like typical example that i'm giving you like just the fact that you're driving in cameroon you have to use your full brain you cannot just be cruising on the streets you have to use your full brain um otherwise you're going to be hitting people on the streets like bikes driver we call them basic in here and all of these you know useless 
<laughs> useless taxi drivers like people drive so bad it's so bad here in cameroon so anyway i don't even know where i'm going with that story it was going to be a day in the life type of vlog and yeah how how do you do things according to plans you can and it's really a lesson when people ask me you know your entrepreneurship journey how do you plan your days what's your routine as an entrepreneur and i'm like you can't you can have like even though you try to have a routine you're always going to have problems arising i'm sorry guys if you can hear the noise it's the road i'm going through a paved street so even when you have things figured out you're always going to have problems arising always it's never i mean if you're an entrepreneur then you know i don't even have to explain it to you you already know the the headache the hustle and everything so problems are always going to be there they're not going to disappear just because you had a good day today so that's the journey of an entrepreneur so for people always asking me what's your routine like how do you manage three businesses and things like that i'm i'm, I'm just managing i'm just managing really just managing like i take things as they come i've put enough controls in place to make sure that my staff is taking care of this this person is running the operation this person is doing this and just delegating tasks you know i was heading to the store and i called a friend of mine he lives and work close by so i just called him he told me that he's still at work but he want us to get a drink <laughs> cameroonian way <laughs> you work and you get a drink because life is just frustrating <laughs> we can have soft life here soft lifing so that's where i'm heading and then after that i have to head to the store because i have a staff meeting there as well last time that i had a staff meeting um i really didn't hit all the points because i told you guys i i was with my parents so now i'm trying to take more time at least i'm here so so guys my next stop was at this store called el dabo i met with the owner they designed some really nice outfit i can see he designed outfits for some of the well-known cameroonian celebrities but i was looking for something more masculine which we talked about and this is another outfit that i also love So basically I was supposed to be here one hour ago but then having a drink turned into shopping which then turned into more conversations <laughs> so my stuff has been waiting for me and now she has to go um, it's almost 6 p.m. like I really don't know why time is flying by so so fast anyway I'm gonna head to the store we're probably gonna have a 30 minutes meeting at this point and then um, hopefully I'm gonna come back here during the week so that we can finalize the sales season that's gonna be happening um, in the month of June so I'll talk to you guys when I get to the store <music> guys anyway i'm at the store we're talking about a client that's supposed to get a wedding gown and then she purchased i mean she's about to get a purse okay and my staff is telling me that the girl knows me i'm like how so she's negotiating for the for the purse right and then she's like i'm gonna know what to do how anyway so that's what we've been talking about since i came here anyway guys um so i'm gonna close the vlog here i feel like this thing wasn't was it was it even a vlog i don't even think it was a vlog because you guys just you know saw me the whole time but anyway i'm gonna do a better job next time my goal is to vlog more but today my day was just crazy i was gonna do a day in the life but it was crazy so i wasn't able to vlog the way i wanted to vlog and i ended up not having the meeting with my staff so anyway um anyway <laughs> oh my god this story is so funny so we ended up finding out who is the client because the whole time the client is like she's texting um my staff she's like um i know jenny you know she's gonna know what to do and i'm like how 
like i don't know who the girl is she sent her a text message and the girl is now saying that she's the sister-in-law of so now i'm like okay it makes sense but i never met her never met her but i know it's a friend of mine that's her sister-in-law and the wedding is gonna be this summer july technically i'm supposed to be at that wedding i haven't met the girl but anyway so we find out who she was talking about because the whole time my stuff is like your friend your friend i'm like I, I don't know the girl so anyway problem solved so we're gonna talk to you guys i mean i say we i'm gonna talk to you guys next time in the meantime don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later bye Pasi bye bye, -bye. <laughs>